spin the one for you. Okay. Spindles at 14,000 RPM, going up to 20,000. Twenty thousand. Super quiet. They've yeah. been holding pretty much on the milling, uh, plus or minus one or better. Sounds great. Okay, how about indexing or rotation? The tolerance for the plus or minus one. We're yeah. holding less than a half okay. on the milling. Okay. And we did probably 40,000 parts. So Mostly far, aluminum? What, of the one I yeah, showed you. Of the one, okay. Yeah, that's okay. just of that part to hold, you know, half dial mm -hmm. or half, yeah, half dial over 40,000 parts. Okay. So now, which one, what do you want to do? Turn it. Any other option on the machine that we should point out that we can't, you know, we don't know what offhand? Yeah, so this is the high speed, high torque configuration. It's got the double tool changer, 76 tools with the probes. Um, it's got live tooling capable on the lower turret. Do you have any live tools for the turret? Um, possibly. Okay, can we open the door real quick? Yeah. Operated independently or together. The spindles can be synchronized. Can be synchronized, so you can be milling and milling on either or both at the same time. Okay. okay. All right. Now we can close it back up if you want, or you want to just run yeah, the spindle. Okay. Zero, okay. Two, that's five. Then you want to do spindle two? Oh, uh, sure. Okay, you can rev it up if you don't mind. Just a I'll just do... Yep. And you've got the uh, Royal Collet quick release on these? Yeah, and also Kitagawa. And a Kitagawa? Just standard three jaws. Stand okay. Yeah, but all automated, right? Okay, so you want to turn the spindles on. Yep. You on two, you only want to one. Let's do two on one because I don't okay. have anything in two. To okay, do that's two. okay. And just tell me what your RPMs are as you go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, and actually, I need to clamp on something on two. Give me a sec here. Thousand RPM. Two thousand. You're gonna hear the the so wind. That, that's actually the liner in it yep. right now. So just so, moving it. Okay. Yeah. You're, so, you're hearing the humming that's in the airflow through the spindle without a spindle liner. In fact, if we take that far out, it'll be 
that here. Okay. Like and we can do that. Then I can take it out of okay. the max. Because it'll be out of balance. I'm yep. not doing turning on yep, it, yep. so I don't want to spin the line there. So that's you're hearing this out of balance in the right. back. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So this machine has the LNS Quick Load Servo ADS2 short loader, length of spindle. Has a mist collector, chip conveyor with filtration system, Herba line, DMG Mori control. I just put a short piece in. So yeah, it's okay. You can see it spinning. So he's loaded a short piece of metal in there so you can see and we can rev the uh, RPM up with the spindle. And where are we at? Uh, 4,000 right now. Going up from 4,000 to 5,000. 5, Max RPM. Yeah. Extremely quiet. Okay, you want to flip that out to the back, or is, can we just yeah. run it the way it is? Yeah, I think we're okay with the power. Okay. Okay, do the same thing on the back spindle. Thousand. Two thousand RPM. Three. Three thousand RPM. We're at fifty-five hundred. That was fifty-five hundred, and now six thousand. Six thousand RPM. Yeah. So backside six, front side five. Right. Okay. And indexing the lower turret, you can do that while the spindle's going if you want. Okay. okay. Parts catcher. All right, and you can move the turret in and out. Obviously, you can tell by the material that they're still running the last job on it. I do. You do the XYZ on the middle spindle. Everything on this machine is in very quiet condition. This has the internal cooling and the heavier castings. Right, so the oversized casting, right. Super so rigid. Uh -huh. You're not going to get thermal drift over the day. That's why okay. we were able to keep the tolerance. Do you run a warm-up program, or do you just, you, you okay? Yeah. You run it through so anyway? Yeah, so if I haven't been running it for a few days, I've got a, the same program that I showed you that mm -hmm. I ran. I just have it so that I'm not indexing the bar out. Okay. Or not pushing the bar. So I can run through all the... RPMs, all the movement, so yeah. everything gets ready. Okay. For as long as I need to. Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah.
Anything else on that? I don't think so. See another tool change? I do. Oh, you gonna do it now? <clears throat> yeah. If you okay. Yeah. So like the, that'd be great. I can do that here. Let's see what's. In there. I'll bring in a probe. Probe in seventy five. So you got dual probes, you got a tool probe and a touch probe? Yeah, touch probe and then the other one is for the uh, presetting. Yep, for the preset moment. for the lower and turret. it's got an upper turret presetter that's built in. So it's got another one of those, but it's, uh, it's not for the B-axis. It's not. I can show you that yep. too. No. Okay, so if I do Okay. So it's putting that into position. Yep. Oh, I see you it's bring right the here. tool setter out now. Yeah, okay. Exactly. So that's for the B axis. That's uh, the B axis, I get it. Moving in, okay? Yeah, so. The B axis tool setter built into the machine. We have the tool probe and the setting and the tool setting probe for the lower oh. turret. Okay. All tooling is complete and in, included with the machine. I don't believe you said you had any live tools for the turret though, the lower turret, right? Uh, there's a possibility. Okay, yeah. we'll have to find that for you. Okay, and if you can bring up the hours in this, that'd be great, the overall hours. Yeah. Okay, so 2,658 hours processing, standby, and then 117,000 on with 14,000 ready to operate hours. Okay, but it's really runtime is 2,700 hours or so. Okay, got it. And then 